Welcome to day 18 on our 30 day journey through the life of Jesus in 30 days by Trev and Wax. We start with our call to prayer today which is from Psalm 55 verse 22 which says Cast your burden on the Lord for he will sustain you. He will never allow the righteous to be shaken. Our gospel reading is from Luke chapter 16 verses 1 to 16 and it reads as follows. Now he said to the disciples, there was a rich man who received an accusation that his manager was squandering his possessions. So he called the manager in and asked, what is this I hear about you? Give an account of your management because you can no longer be my manager. And the manager said to himself, what will I do? Since my master is taking the management away from me, I'm not strong enough to dig. I'm ashamed to beg. I know what I'll do so that when I'm removed from management, people will welcome me into their homes. So he summoned each one of his master's debtors. How much do you owe my master? He asked the first one. A hundred measures of olive oil, he said. Take your invoice, he told him. Sit down quickly and write 50. Next, he asked another, how much do you owe? A hundred measures of wheat, he said. Take your invoice, he told him, and write 80. The master praised the unrighteous manager because he had acted shrewdly. For the children of this age are more shrewd than the children of light in dealing with their own people. And I tell you, make friends for yourselves by means of worldly wealth, so that when it falls, they may welcome you into eternal dwellings. Whoever is faithful in very little is also faithful in much. And whoever is unrighteous in very little is also unrighteous in much. So if you've not been faithful with worldly wealth, who will trust you with what is genuine? And if you've not been faithful with what belongs to someone else, who will give you what is your own? No servant can serve two masters, since either he will hate one and love the other, or he will be devoted to one and despise the other. You cannot serve both God and money. The Pharisees, who are lo were lovers of money, were listening to all these things and scoffing at him. And he told them, You are the ones who justify yourselves in the sight of others. But God knows your hearts. For what is highly admired by people is revolting in God's sight. The law and the prophets were until John. Since then, the good news of the kingdom of God has been proclaimed and everyone is urgently invited to enter it. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let's look at our Gloria today, which of course is glory be to God the Father, God the Son and God the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever, world without end. Let's rest in the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who have sinned against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Our closing blessing today is from Numbers 6, 24 to 26. And is, of course, may the Lord bless you and protect you. May the Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look with favour on you and give you 